to learn is oppia. And uh, how is I learn? Oppin. Take a second look. Oppia. Then we remove the last syllable. What do you have left? Oppi. Not oppi, but what do we have left? Op. So was, was it opea? Opia. Opia. Ah, opia. opia. Then it's left oppi. Oppi, yes, O P P I. Mm -hmm. And how is I learn? Opin. But these two P's, they are hard. When you have two T's, two P's, two K's, what do you do to make them softer? Two P's. So it's... They become one. Yes, you remove one of them. One, yeah. How is I learn? Open. Open. And how is... I learn is open. How is he learns? Han opia. Now you said... He to learn. Okay. Let's take it step by step. The word he... Han. Han and learns. Opi. Almost. Opi. So did you say opi or no. opi? No, opi. Opi. But the he, she, it and they form are in a different state compared to I, we, you and you guys. And what is it? Is it soft or hard? They have to be hard. Yes, they have to be hard, which means that how many P's do you have? We, uh, we will have two. Yes, so how is he learns? An oppi. An oppi. And how is Taylor? He oppivat. He oppivat. And why did you take the one of the eyes off? In. So if you have op B, han op B, and then you, if you took the longer road and not the shortcut, then you had op B and you added the vat vat to the he she it form. But why did you take one of the eyes off? Op so don't try to guess it. You can find the answer if you take a look at the I form and compare these two I form and he she it. Yeah, we have two P's and two I's in he she it form. Yes. Then when we get a plural, we don't need to have two P's. I mean two I's. Yes, but why is it that? You can find the answer from the I form. Open. Open and OP. Yeah, we take off N, then it's... Yes, yes, but what's the difference? How many I's? In I we have one. One. So it's exclusive. And when we have some exclusive vowel in the he she form, we take it off. So here we don't care about the P's, opin, opi. We care about taking off one of the vowels if it's exclusive to the he she form. And how is Taylor? He oppivat. He oppivat, yes. How is they don't learn? He eivat oppi. Take it step by step. He, he what? He, he what? Yes, that's correct. Opi. Opi. Why is it opi? The I form minus N. Yes, it's always the soft form in the negative. What could to make learn mean? If I make you learn something, what could that mean? I help you to learn. Yes, and what is helping to learn? What is that verb? In English or in Finnish? In English, what does it mean when I help you to learn? I teach you? Yes, to teach. So in Finnish, to teach really means something like I make you learn. The verbs that have this to make pattern end with T-T-A-A. -A. Or what is the other option? T 
T A dot A dot. Yes, and to teach is very similar to the verb to learn. Oppia. We have had it before, but don't try to remember it right now. Let's build it. Mm -hmm. How would be the verb to teach if you're going to build it from the iPhone? In this case, how is I learn? I learn is opin. Opin. Take off the end. Opi. Opi. And now you are going to add... What are the four letters to get the meaning to make? The, you mean the TTA? Yes, TTAA. How would it be to teach or literally to make learn? Opitta. Almost. You have two A's. Ah, opitta. Opitta. So it would be opitta. But the I changes to its closest, closest vowel. What is it? E. E. How is it? Opetta. Opetta. And very good pronouncing all the vowels. You can make three, four <laughs> vowels if you feel like it. Nobody is going to hear it. But if it's too short, then people will hear Opetta. And how is I want to teach you? Haluan opettaa sinua. Haluan opettaa. Da sin yes. And why is there an A in the word you? Oh in Sino. Yes. Why is it with A? It's correct, I'm but certain. why? Yes, I'm certain. We don't know how much helping there is and it's not clearly just one teaching or so.